Well, usually when I'll, usually when I'll, whenever we all, all right. Play, play nice. Now, just about everything has a nice base color on it, and I was kind of so, about to start it. heading on to the um, Maybe. dry brushing stage. At this point, um, there's it's still a little bit messy. I intend to clean that up a bit as I go so, yeah, along. Yeah, so let's uh, let's get started. Dry brushing is something it's something delicate that a lot of people know how to do but don't know how to do right. Um, so here I'm going to take some ice blue, which is a nice lighter lighter blue, and dry brush some onto this enchanted blue. Except me. So this what? You want to get not a whole lot of. Paint on that brush. Monday through Thursday. Make sure you get plenty of it off. What? You don't want to have. Yeah, see, um, see how there's not a whole lot, not a whole lot on, on the pa paper towel here. The trick is to not overdo it. Um, I found that Codex Gray is your default highlight for black, but it sometimes comes out sort of boring looking. If you want a more realistic, neat looking black, you can mix in a little bit of a different color. So, we're going to take some Codex Gray. One of these is an Abrusia boot disc, the other is... Well, I said it's not, it's not a Mac. Yeah, it's upgraded. What, 11.4? Wash off the brush really well after you put some wet paint on there. And then we're going to grab... Here, the scorch brown looks good. We're gonna mix them together. Um, it was a great like game a with Bad Players. What's that? Vampire of the Masquerade. I'm actually supposed to... No, we had the worst storyteller. I mean, if you didn't do everything you wanted... Hmm, needs more gray. I mean, like, uh, I was a Tremere, I would be a Bad Player. I like that. I was a Tremere, and my uh, gift or whatever was fire, so I could pass out. Sure, I'm pretty fire with it. Let's grab more gray. Uh, I still... I, I was like, okay, that's kind of OP. I will take a rock, a rock check whenever I create fire. And so, there. He was like, okay, okay, that's fine. You can take that. Now you've got this uh, nice sort of um, brownish gray. I would call it French gray, actually, since it's got a little bit of yellow or warm gray. Either way, it's got a little more color on it. Dried off really well on a napkin or something, while you still got a little paint on there. And then dry brush it onto your black. Nice. I do have the 3.5 character. It's okay if it's a little bit. Um, oh, buy some index cards right down the bottom. More obvious than you you would like. It's not like I don't have that. Because you're gonna wash it with some bad ab black when you're done. It's gonna dull it down a little bit, make it look more natural. Maybe playing on Chaos Side. Hello, this is uh, India. I'm back again. We're going to continue on with this Space Marine Librarian guy, Raven Guard. Totally a bro. I've, I've got some, uh, if you can see, I've, I put a little bit of the um, mixture of gray and brown that we used for the, the black on some of the white parts as well. Just little splashes on the part print here and there, lightly, just to give it a little more character. Um, at this point, we're going to go over some of the white parts that 
maybe didn't we didn't uh, get all the crevices the first time or or you know it didn't go on well enough because it's over a coat of black so we're gonna just stick another coat on some parts that we need to and then we're probably gonna work on the face that'll be neat okay now I'm gonna do something pretty special I am going to take some bleach bone I can find it in here where's my bleach bone gotta find it there okay there's some bleach bone. Bam. That. And I'm gonna put it on his face. Just all over it. Okay, on the energy effect we're gonna pull off on this guy, the first thing we're gonna need is purple. Lich purple. After that we're gonna go over it with warlock purple. After that we're going to wash it bad at black. Then we're going to use a dark red, layered over with a lighter red. On top of that, we're going to put on some uh, sunburst yellow. And on top of that, we're going to put on some skull white. In the end, we're going to have a pretty cool looking product. So let's, let's see what happens. Bam! Now that this purple has dried, we're gonna dry brush on this uh, this warlock purple. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be so delicious. All right. Uh, now that our wash is dry, we're going to start on this dark red gore. So, this is for you. This is for you. This is the base part of the detail that we're going to do, which is a bunch of lightning bolts that are really awesome. Um, this part is almost—it's. Yes. You can make thick strokes on this. Uh, you want to make sure you get all, you, all of your um, lines, that your stark lines, like the long line going down the sword, and the one along the outside edge. We're going to take a finer brush and continue on with blood red. This is something that you want to do uh, a very thin detail on. Not the ultimate thin, but yeah. you know, working our way down. Anything higher than a, than a there, now you've got uh, some parts that are brighter white, and that gives it more character, more oomph, parts that look hotter than others. Um, if you look carefully, 
There's a lot of variation in color, some warmth, some darkness, and that's what gives it really, really cool effect. So, enjoy that.